So this is starting with chapter 28 of Selling Beyond Survival and by Lance Cooper. Chapter 28 is called Action Steps, Coaching and Achieving Sales Goals. We are at the end of coaching highly spirited sales teams into goal achievement. Together, we are just beginning a journey of activity management and help for you and your team's sales goal achievement. In this part, we began our education and leadership development with a focus on a best practice recruiting system designed to find a talented, high activity sales professional. You studied three stages of recruitment funneling screening, validated profiles, and structured interviews. Repeat that. You studied three stages of a recruitment funnel. Screening, validated profiles, and structured interviews. These stages work together to increase your chances of finding someone with the right competencies character and personality traits. We then moved our thoughts to coaching. Knowing people was introduced as the first stage of great coaching. In this stage, through observation, profiles, and one-on-one -on -one interviews, you learned the importance of finding the number one motivator of each rep the number one motivator of each sales rep. In this stage, you work to understand a salesperson's unique and common support needs, both personal and business. Today, fewer people around you understand their own motivations and responsibilities. Get to know your reps as individuals. As you ask questions and listen, you begin to know more about their passions and most important, their needs. Using this knowledge, you can help to work each rep connect, help each rep connect with sales and income goals. As you do so, you will help increase the motivating power within their hearts. The high performance sales meetings you lead will bring celebration into sales work. They will help sales reps remain focused on the right levels of the right activities. You will use activity management to help coach results, individual and team sales goal achievement. You will use activity management to help coach results, individual and team goals, sales goal achievement. And most importantly, just like a great sports coach, you will lead highly spirited teams with a commitment toward goal achievement, a passion for sales, and hope for the future. Whether up or down, behind or ahead, you will manage a team of individuals. Goals and Direction Henry Ford once remarked that obstacles are those frightful things you see when you take your eyes off your goal. I know what he means from experience. Years ago, with the lights about to be cut off in my house as I was starting a new business, I picked up a phone that seemed to weigh 85 pounds. Somehow I got through those goal calls. It took real faith. I was aware of my goals in vivid technicolor. Keep the lights on, pay my mortgage, keep the house, buy food, the basics. Today, after 30 years of coaching salespeople and sales leaders, I find a lack of specificity and a loss of direction growing among them. When I take salesperson, a salesperson, through a series of questions during training, it becomes obvious to everyone that the person works without a particular target in mind. Why? Because, maybe it's because of not being accountable, responsible, and aware of living above survival needs. 
What do I mean? Do your reps know how much money it takes to survive, comma, not get ahead and improve their lifestyle, and not to pay for their child's college education, but to survive? I'm asking you if they know the exact number. The exact number. Have they added up their basic fiscal needs? Many salespeople perform around their survival number. Intuitively, because of a need for money at certain times of the month to pay bills and to keep the household running, they force themselves to pick up their activities, follow up, get quotes, out, etc. During each sales period, they feel agony in a yo-yo effect of emotional ups and downs around this minimal performance level. Yet needs exist beyond what it takes to survive in the present. The future makes its demands upon today, and we must recognize when we must recognize them from to survive in the future. That's why a savings account is important. Roofs and cars wear out, the unexpected happens. When we do not set aside money, we pay the piper through credit cards. Finally, do not necessarily accept the corporate sales budget number in your planning or coaching. That, that is, not unless your company sets it above or equal to what will pro provide enough commissions for your team's income needs. What does a sales budget have to do with the reality of their survival and future lifestyle needs? Remember, the company you work for develops sales budgets and goals based on company needs, not yours or your team's needs. So set your income goal and corresponding sales goal based on what your team wants to achieve for themselves or for their families. <clears throat> if the sales budget is higher, then lift yours and their motivation to that height. Now work hard at the high activity sales process and begin managing its activities for your team's passions and interests and to help your company thrive. Leads and appointments. <clears throat> Opening the gates to lead generation starts the downstream flow of prospects. A stream that you will keep at a steady flow. That means you will attend the necessary number of functions, visit with centers of influence, go to trade show events, and work in other lead channels until you have a list of names to prospect. You will continually feed this list at a rate that you will set 10, 15, 20 names a month. It's up to you and your sales metrics, your ratios, and your income needs. Do not prospect a random group of leads. You will run all potential leads through your profile of an ideal prospect. Doing this will help your prospecting efficiency and opportunity ratios. You will work those leads that have the greatest chance in turning into appointments. In appointments with prospects that you can qualify ahead of time, you will more often find people who will want to quote to solve needs and problems that you fill and solve. This will help your sales effectiveness increase. With high priority leads, you will schedule time each week to call for first appointments. In these prospect meetings, you will ask a standard set of questions for the purpose of discovering if what you sell will help someone. If you believe this is true, you will customize your presentations and quotes to show how your products and services will fill needs, solve problems, or satisfy wants. These presentations may occur on the spot or at a subsequent appointment. As you work hard, you may find sales work to be difficult, especially if you focus on being responsible for results. Instead, work on your character. Make yourself better. Increase your work ethic. Eschew negativity. Eschew negativity. Change your approach. These things will change you and the results you get. As Seth Godin mentioned in his book, Lynchpin, become a linchpin in the world and the people around you tell your story for you.
Build a team of people around you who want to pursue excellence in sales or coaching salespeople. Listen to their counsel. Challenge each other. Read books together. Share stories that increase hope and teach new truths. Find a cause. Flame your passion for work. Love your products and services. Know what they do in the lives of those you serve. Work on bringing authentic stories and passions for how you help your customers in your presentations. Be a success by giving your best for the benefit of others. Then communicate these stories on your website, in your social media, and with your prospects. Managing activities. Identify the stages of your sales funnel. Keep them simple. For example, prospects, appointments, sales in progress. Focus on managing the right levels of the right activities. That phrase, right levels of the right activities, is a trademark that's been trademarked by Lance Cooper. Right levels of the right activities. Find a minimum number of prospects each month to keep the funnel pressure strong. Then set and hold the number of appointments necessary to produce the right amount of quotes according to the closing ratio you estimate for yourself. Finding prospects, holding first appointments, and giving closing presentations, these are the critical selling activities. Repeat them. Finding prospects, holding first appointments, and giving closing presentations, these are the critical selling activities. Do them at the right levels and good things will happen. Do not allow activity levels to fall below your calculated standards. Keep them elevated according to your estimates for opportunity and closing ratios. Later, you can change these as you have a history of truth in recorded activity numbers. Remember that elephants are eaten one bite at a time. With only 31 days in a month, make sure your activity levels remain consistent and steady. How do you do this? With a sales board. Put one up as a visual reminder of your activity targets or use a spreadsheet or an online application like salesactivities.com. If you need 10 prospects, 6 first appointments, and 3 quotes per week to average one sale per week, then make sure you record your actual numbers. All of your favorite sports teams do this to understand their performance. You do it too. Do not kid yourself by recording activities that are not critical or activities that do not meet the definition of a first appointment or a presentation. This will hurt you and you alone. It will backfire on you as your funnel dries up or it does not produce the amount of revenue that you need to feed yourself, your family, or to keep yourself employed. Tell the truth. Keep an accurate count. Be conservative with your numbers. This will help you, and perhaps even surprise you at the end of the sales period with greater than expected income. Do not allow an it's-all-about-results emphasis to keep you from measuring the steps in your sales process. Do keep track of results, and at the same time, if you have a sales team, put a priority on training people to increase activity levels to appropriate levels relative to their personal goal achievement. Also, pay attention to the sales skills development that will make them more effective prospectors and appointment setters. Also, pay attention to the sales skills development that will make them more effective prospectors prospectors, and appointment setters. Teach them how to handle the first appointment with professionalism, focusing on questions that draw out the wants, needs, and problems of the prospect. Then, coach their presentation skills. If you're by yourself an entrepreneur, then do these things for yourself. Seek out books, training programs, and mentors to help you understand the nuances of of the selling process with its skills, attitudes, and tools. Make yourself better. Throughout your sales career, work hard to be irreplaceable in the lives of your customers or clients. Build referrals. 
How? Well, while some say that that's a book in itself, I will give you one attitude and mantra to guide you. Think about and say the word we. Become a partner with those you sell to by thinking about their business or life and how you can help as a partnering vendor in increasing pride, pleasure, peace, or profit. By really realizing it's all about them and that you are an integral, if sometimes small part of it, this will make all the difference in your sales, marketing, and service. Even if you sell what many think to be a commodity, this we focus will make a valuable difference in the minds of the prospects you approach and the customers you serve. It will make a big difference for those you coach as well. Here you are again, coaching yourself and coaching the salespeople who sign on to take this high activity road with you. As long as they are on the team, you will believe they have what it takes. You will, because I believe this for you. I do believe this because you are now a part of our team. And we at Sales Manage Solutions and at SalesActivities.com, thank you for joining our organization of high activity sales professionals. This book is finished, but our lifelong learning process continues. Let's stop spinning our wheels and go reach our goals, lifestyle goals. And that's the end. And it goes back. I read the last one first in order to get an idea of where we are going. What's the goal? This is James Knowles, Roger Smith News, Roger Smith Learning, Barking Dog News in Stanford, 